Excuse my hair. This is leftover hair from yesterday, and I slept on it in a braid, and it's kind of crazy. But anyways, welcome to the video. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday is therapy day every week at 8 a.m. Actually, kind of have a really busy day today, but I don't have to worry about school because this week is the week off in between semesters, so I'm really excited to film because I don't have to like rush home and listen to a lecture or do homework today, and I'm so thankful for that. So anyways, I figured I would vlog because the last time that I vlogged, it was like a full day of eating, which... You will see what I'm eating in this video. I'll throw it in there because I know you guys like to see that. But I haven't just done kind of like a hangout with me style vlog in a while. And I noticed that I've been doing a lot of sit down videos lately. So I was like, you know what? Let's do just a follow me around video today. Um, and just kind of take you around for what I'm doing. This is also kind of a great opportunity to show you guys how I kind of like plan out my days or my weeks and stuff like that. So I know some people have asked me that in my comments before, like it seems like you do a lot of things in one day, how do you plan it out, etc. So during um, the weeks, I've used this passion planner for a really long time, I've had it all year. I kind of took a break from it when I moved here because it was just like very overwhelming. But for like the week, for example, I have things like color coded. So coaching is blue, PT sessions are pink, and then appointments are green. Then I have like a to-do list at the bottom. Any videos that I need to work on that week um, goes at the top. And I just kind of write lists down and, and check them off. I'm, I'm big on checking off lists. So that's kind of how I organize my week. And then on a day-to-day -day basis, it's good... I mean, I don't know if you'd consider this good, but it's different because my jobs allow me to work multiple jobs, right? So in the morning, like today, for example, I woke up at 6.30, got ready, had breakfast, and then the time between 7 and 8, I have an hour to work on my morning clients from Black Iron Nutrition. Anybody that has submitted from last night or early morning today, I take care of them. Then any breaks in between the two jobs, for example, like my 8 a.m. therapy appointment, I have that, then I'm gonna go right to coach the 9 a.m. class. Then I have time to train myself, and then coach the noon class and a PT client at one. After that, then I'll come back, do my black iron nutrition clients for the afternoon. So anybody that's submitted after I've already done check-ins in the morning and then go back to coach 345 and 445 and then come back and do the evening clients for anybody that's submitted like in the afternoon or that I just wasn't able to finish in the early blocks. So it's kind of like a choppy day and I'm going back and forth from the gym with coaching PT. Luckily today's Wednesday, so I don't have to do babysitting at nine, but it's just like I prefer to set things out and block out times for that and then any other ways that I can fit in things like grocery shopping or like today I need to go to Bed Bath & Beyond um, just things like that I'll kind of squeeze in where I can and then I will finish all of the remaining black iron nutrition clients at night so that's kind of how I schedule my day I just kind of wanted to vlog vlog today so I hope you enjoy welcome to the video <laughs>
Okay, let's go over this now. <laughs> I be cookie. <laughs> a cookie y'all. Okay. So these cookies, um, we were having a discussion, Nicole and I, about Lenny's and Larry's and how they're horrible. And so she was like, oh, have you ever tried these guys? And this is Alternative Baking Company. They're not healthy, really. Like, their macros are still for half of a cookie. And it's, it's just like a regular cookie, you know, like not anything protein-related. But that one's Snickerdoodle. The oatmeal raisin I've had before is actually really good. Um, and then she wanted to try the Lemon Dream. So we'll give you guys a little rundown. And then these bad boys. So we always get this shake from Fresh Blends. And it's called Organic Cookie Crunch. And we think that they make them with Newman O's or Glutinos. So I bought Glutinos and Nicole um, bought Newman O's. And I'm gonna try to recreate this shake at some point so that we don't have to keep spending $8 on shakes every day when we go to <laughs> uh, Fresh Blood. Giving you a live taste test on the cookies right now. You're good. Okay, that's so good. Oh my gosh. This is for half of a cookie dough. They're pulling the old school Lenny's and Larry's. Eight grams of fat, 37 carbs, and three proteins. So like I guess they use premium gourmet ingredients made daily in small hand batches. No dairy, no eggs, no honey, no hydrogenated oils, no cholesterol, no preservatives, no artificial ingredients or refined sugars. So that is actually really good. This is what the packaging looks like if you guys want to try them. They are so good. This oatmeal raisin I had the other day warmed up. Woo, girl. Okay, now that we've eaten our cookies, we're going to work out. Here's the deal. 
I love this, oh, I hate these things. I love this place by me. It's called Fresh Bloods. You guys have seen me uh, purchase smoothies from there quite frequently. And in an attempt to recreate the organic cookie crunch one that I love so much, I literally asked them, like, how do you make this? The weird thing about it was that they said they use a vanilla powder to make the vanilla cream flavor. I don't know, it's so weird to me. I've never heard of a place doing something like that. But I ordered this on Amazon. This is just called French Deluxe Vanilla Powder. And cause literally the only thing they said that was in it was almond milk, two uh, cookies, and I have two different kinds to try. The Newman O's that you guys saw Nicole get earlier and then I also got Glutinos because those are gluten free. Well, it smells good. The macros for 15 grams is uh, 0.5 fat, 10 carb, and three protein. So I'm going to try to recreate this damn smoothie because, you know, I'm really not trying to spend $8 on a smoothie like five times a week. That's ridiculous. So let's try to do it. taste a lot of that vanilla cream powder. I kind of feel like I blended the Oreos too much. Like I should have maybe put them in whole or maybe blended the thing first and pulsed them in because the thing about the place at Fresh Blends is that they always have chunks of Oreos at the bottom. So good. So if you're looking for a cookies and cream shake, that uh, vanilla powder was actually really good. Not overly sweet though. Like it doesn't take, taste fake or anything. I'm going to input this real quick into my fitness pal and pop up the macros right here on the screen because I don't know what this is yet, I just made it. I'm still gonna eat a real lunch too, I was just so hungry. <laughs> I wanted to drink this first. Mmm. Okay, so fun fact, yesterday, Bailey, in the middle of the night, decided to rip a hole through our duvet cover and crawl into it, and then proceeded to get herself stuck in the duvet cover. So, I still have this coupon from Bed Bath & Beyond that's like the 20% off everything purchase. The best one. So I'm about to go over there before I eat my lunch and then get ready for the 345 class. And I'm so excited because I haven't been in Bed Bath & Beyond in forever. And it's also right next to TJ Maxx and Ulta, which are also two of my favorite stores ever. So I'm gonna head over there and get some duvet cover going on. We'll see what's in there and then I'll be back for lunchy. Look at these sales. $229.99, $79.99. I don't know if I like the blue one better or the green one. Oh, they're both cute. Heck, I don't know. Oh my God, look how cute that is. I'm totally buying that. Well, that was easy enough. I'm also gonna go into TJ Maxx to see if they have any um, fall decor. This is almost time for me to start decorating for Halloween. So I'm gonna get some more like pumpkin stuff. Okay, so let me show you what I got real quick. They had a pumpkin donut candle, so you know I was in. And then I got this cute, oh, this cute little glass jar to put these little uh, smelly fall decor things. I've always loved these. My mom was big on these when I was a kid. I feel like it was like an Italian thing to have poopery. <laughs> I call it poopery now, please don't make fun of me. I know it's actually called poopery. <laughs> and then this I thought was so cute. Farm Fresh Pumpkins. That's cute, right? What you got? Give me that, thank you. Oh, uh, lipstick, I found a lipstick at TJ Maxx. And look how cute these little um, <laughs> dogs with footballs on them. Oh, look, it's just it's not fall without football. So cute, and then I got um, some orange ones as well, just because I felt like that went well together. 
and then that. So now, exactly 20 minutes to eat some lunch. Luckily, I have already prepared my chicken thighs and such in the fridge. You guys know me. I've got my chicken thighs, and then I've got potatoes. And look what came in the mail today while I was out. Also put them in the fridge for me. Perfect bar dark chocolate cups. There's so many good snacks today, I can't even. And the pumpkin spice perfect bars. I just love this time of the year so much, I really do. I'm not that hungry today, which is weird, because Wednesdays have been my like higher carb days. I've been kind of playing around with having one day per week where I eat like double the carbs that I normally do. Kind of, I guess, like a refeed day, but I'm not cutting or anything, it's just, I would guess maybe just more for performance because I was noticing that like midweek around Wednesday or Thursday, I would just start getting so hungry and with my energy expenditure being so high these days, like I'm literally averaging almost 20,000 steps per day. Like right now, I'm at 14,000 and it's only three o'clock. I just feel like lately I've been burning so much that I kind of feel like I needed a midweek pick me up. And today, for some reason, I'm just not super hungry. I not even eat all this, to be honest with you. I might just eat the chicken, not the potatoes. So like, I'm not craving carbs today, which is weird. If that's the case, I am tracking my macros again. I told you guys this in my last full day of eating video, um, but I think I'm just gonna change it to a regular day instead of, you know, what I normally have. So maybe I'll make that be tomorrow, be my high day or something like that. And you guys have seen me talk about this in videos before. I do not force feed myself. I don't starve myself. If I'm full, I stop eating. If I'm hungry, I eat more. It ain't that serious. Speaking of that, if you didn't see my blog post about that, highly recommend you give that a read if you find that you're hard on yourself for like not hitting your macros perfectly or like having a bad workout. I'll link it in the description bo box, but it's on my um, WordPress blog. I'm gonna sit down for like five minutes, then I gotta go coach, and then I'll be back for the night. I'm so excited. Go heck. Oh my gosh, you're so excited right now. Look at you. Do you wanna eat your dinner? Oh heck. <laughs> okay, I dropped my ball for you. I'll eat my dinner right now. Okay, okay, so it is six o'clock on the dot, just got back, and this is gonna be my dinner. It's just already prepped um, extra lean ground beef with some jasmine rice, broccoli, and a little bit of guacamole. So I'm gonna eat this, then go shower, and I will wrap it up for the night. Obviously the bed's not like made completely. I just want you guys to see the color. I don't really know if I like this material. I might be returning that depending on what Austin thinks. But you guys, look at those steps. 20,633 steps. People will ask me like, how do you get so many steps in per day? How do you get so many steps in? Literally take the dogs for a walk once or twice a day, a mile to a mile and a half, then Coach, three classes, a PT session, clean your house, make your bed, walk up and down the stairs to do your laundry and stuff like that, and you will get 20,000 steps. But on that note, it is 7.12. I am so tired. I'm going to literally go to bed like in five minutes. Take these guys out. Oh, we're going outside again. So my face looks really greasy because I put that uh, Tula overnight Spectrum Rescue on my face. Love that so much. It's so hydrating. Can we not mess up the new sheets? Oh, heck. What? <laughs> all right, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up and click subscribe so you don't miss any Monday with Manders. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.